Hey YouTube, time for another fish room tour, July 2016. Alright YouTube, it's Brian again and I'm coming at you today with a fish room tour for July of 2016. I'm starting off down in the basement today, uh, taking a look at my uh, Midas, Hamphalophus Centronellus. This is Cheeto. I've moved him up into the 90 gallon above his old tank. Um, and I'll show you why in just a second, but he's doing good as always, active as always. Just a fun, fun fish to have. Down below, we got his brother now. I got this uh, one, re picked this one up recently. Um, it is truly uh, Cheeto's brother. Um, came from the same line. Not quite as, uh, I wouldn't say not quite. It is, looks a little different than Cheeto, but, but equally as good, just in a different way. A lot more orange to this one. Along with it came this female, the jury's still out. I'm not sure that this is actually a true Midas. It might be a My Devil or even a Red Devil. The snout does look a little bit, um, a little bit more like uh, it's got some devil in it. But needless to say, um, it's a cool looking fish, I, in my opinion. I like the white with just a little bit of orange on the finnage and stuff. So. That's what's going on down here. I'm enjoying these guys. Although, I did buy this guy kind of on a impulse buy. And uh, that being said, I may not have the room for him. So this guy may be available for sale. Um, just kind of still thinking about it. So if you're interested in a, in a really nice Midas, he's he comes in at 11, 12 inches somewhere in that range. And comes from a really good bloodline. So. Um, I'll, I'll keep the female, keep them with Cheeto if I get rid of this guy, but, so keep that in mind if you're looking for a Midas, maybe we can work something out. Good looking fish though. Alright, over here are the red is latest grow outs, as you can see most of them are getting to be about an inch. I am looking to sell some of these, not all of them, I've sold some already. <laughs> Um, so if you're looking for Redis Latis and you're serious about it and willing to pay what they're worth, you know, let me know. Uh, email to contact me will be hopefully in the description below, but if not, kind of on the home page of my YouTube channel. Down below are the Hadiensis, aka Black Nasties. I don't really like that term, but it's the common name street name, whatever you want to call it. Um, this is one group I've got and I'm going to be looking to move these guys so if you're looking for some black nasties also let me know. They're looking good, they're coming along nicely. Two to three inches depending. And then I'll show you the other black nasties too since we're at it. <laughs> some females sparring right here. but. Um, several of the ones in this tank too I'll be looking to get rid of. These ones are bigger, more of a 3 to 4 inch size. Um, if you're interested um, in some black nasties, um, serious inquiries only please. But uh, yeah, I, I've got some of these and I can uh, um, work out a deal with you. And then finally, um, the last Hadiensis uh, tank, I've got a pair over here. Now they're going to be hiding on me when I try to do a video. I think they're behind this pot. They like to stay over there. Maybe we'll come back to it if they come out during this video. But I just... Um, these are a proven pair that Mike had. And I, and I picked them up uh, just last week from him. Um, just because they were a little bit bigger than what I had and they were a confirmed proven pair. They've spawned. I saw the fry. So, um, but they've been a little skittish since I've got them home, but they'll, they'll be fine. 
I'll see if they come out at some point here. We can take a look at them. Um, up above are the reddest latest. Same story with them, no spawning. She's getting picked on a little, not too bad. Um, yeah, looking good. I've got the uh, Sequia in this tank too, and they're doing just fine in here. Um, we'll see if something happens with these guys in the form of a spawn again, hopefully. But uh, if not, that's no big deal either. But uh, these guys are just are super fun to, to watch and have in my fish room. So This guy's name is Head too, by the way. Over here are the uh, Rio Blanco Red Tiger Motoguens RTMs that I got from Sean Hyden. It was the male. He's got a little bit of damage on him. They do spar a little bit. They're still a little skittish, but uh, for the most part they're out quite a bit now. They do like to hide. Um, she's in this tube right here right now. But uh, hopefully she'll come out so you can see her. She's just a beautiful fish. But this male with the blue in it, just gorgeous. Really happy with these guys. So if they come out a little bit more during this video, I'll get another shot of them. The umbies down here, Rio Mag umbies, they're doing good. No spawning or anything, but uh, nonetheless, they're doing just fine. Her tube's starting to drop, so maybe something will happen. Turn up the heat a little in this tank just to see. Um, yeah, I had it down pretty low. Um, I don't need these guys to spawn, but just uh, wanted to maybe see him do it again. It'd be cool to have a big clutch of fry in here. This guy's starting to really look like a beast. Blues are coming out a little bit more. We'll just continue to work with him and, and see what, uh, see how he turns out. She's over here. She's a wildcat, and he is a F1. Uh, came from Magnus and Beast. So, nice looking fish. Really fun to have in the fish room. Alright, up here now are where both flower horns are temporarily. This is the uh, Magma. This is the Comfa. They both have a little bit more red in them right now than usual just because uh, they're in the tank together. Obviously got a divider, but looking real good. Real happy with both of these guys. This is just temporary. I needed the tank space for a little while until I sell some stuff off. Um, but they'll each have their own tank again soon. Um, the umbies down here, these are all for sale. I'd like to move these, so I've got them listed at a really good price. If you're interested in some umbies, let me know. Some of them have some fins tattered, but they'll all grow back just, just due to aggressiveness. And then I've got this real mag female in here. She's also for sale. And then this uh, Dovi female, I think it is. It's a little kind of weird to form the tail area. Um, I don't know what I'll do with her, but anyway. Um, so let me know if you're interested in any of this stuff. We'll get it out to you soon. I'm actually going to the airport this coming Saturday. The 23rd, I think it is. So, um, if you're interested in any of the things that I've mentioned in here, uh, let me know and we'll get it out to you, Delta Cargo. This tank has, uh, there's a female Moda. And then there's a male in here that's about the size of that female over there, about 7 inches. This female is probably 4 to 5. Um, these are also both available. Red Tiger Moda Gwens. Uh, the male's up here actually right now. They've been doing good together. A little bit of fighting, a little bit of rough housing. They have not spawned, so they're not proven, but I'm sure they will at some point. And then I've got, in these three tanks here, I've got uh, Motas. I've got a, they're all hiding, not going to come out right now, but I've got a, 
about a five inch, four to five inch female, five inch male, and about a four inch male, and they're all available. There's the four inch male way in the back here. I've just separated them all right now because um, I want to get rid of them, and I don't. They were sparring a little bit, and I don't. I figure if they're gonna go out, I don't want them to be um, in rough shape when they go out. I mean, any 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 tail finage will grow back anyway, but I just decided since I had these 20 gallon grow outs available uh, tanks, I'd, I'd put them in there for the time being. And then over here are um, these uh, sequoias that I'm growing out to. Um, the one spawn that I did have from the ones that are in with my redis latest, so coming along nicely. Um, let's see, no black nasties out down here. I guess I can't show them to you. And the motas over here are still hiding, so you gotta at least see the mail this time. We'll go upstairs real quick and check out the last few tanks. So, the discus tank, uh, I think I'm going to have new discus since my last video. I'm going to close the shade here because it's really, the sun's really coming in. I got, uh, I think it was seven more from Kenny's discus on the June shipment. And depending on when I film my June video, I think, I don't think these were all in the video. But I got a couple yellows up there. Um, I don't remember all the names right now. With these discus, you know, there's always weird names, but uh, some leopard type stuff, um, blue diamond, uh, neon sapphire, I can't remember all everything I got, but there's definitely some new ones in here since you last saw the video. Planning on getting a school of Congo tetras to go in this tank as well, that should be pretty cool I think. One of my local fish stores has them available, so... That's about it for the discus tank. And then over here in the office, I'll show you the last couple tanks. There's the Giardini Arowana. He's growing a little bit, I've really noticed it. Um, doing well. Endolachiri Biker down there, Bircher, whatever you want to call them, Bicker, Biker, Booker. Um, and then I got five loaches in the tank, looking to add some more loaches to the collection. But uh, enjoying this Arowana right now, he's real fun. And then I also show this in my shrimp update, uh, depending on which I uploaded first. But this is the 90 gallon shrimp tank. And uh, everything's doing pretty decent in here. I've still got the outbreak of uh, scuds or lawn shrimp, as you call them. But got some crystal reds in here. My battery's about to die, so I'm going to end it here. But uh, thanks, as always, for watching, guys. Uh, if you're new to my channel, uh, make sure you subscribe for uh, regular updates on my, on my tanks, my shrimp, my cichlids, my uh, saltwater tank as well, my reef tank. And if you are not already part of it, make sure you go over to Aquatic Support Community on Facebook and join that group. And then make sure you follow or subscribe to all the, uh, the Team Aquatic Support members. Their YouTube channels will be listed below. Until next time, thanks for watching, guys.